This is an Insane Cast production. You're listening to Thanks for Watching the All Movies Podcast. With your cast, Beth, DJ, Jimmy, and Adrian. And now, now thanks for watching, watching. Welcome to episode 18. 12. I almost forgot what what number it was this time. <laughs> that's why I suggest that you put the O in there, because it doesn't help anything at all. Th- Just that's 18 true. O 12 makes everything worse. Right? Oh, that's it. <laughs> yeah, you know how I am. That's the way I roll. And it adds the extra time so I can remember what exact show number it was. That That's the only valid reason for me asking you to interject the O in there. That, that's right. Other so... than it makes me laugh every time. Exactly. It makes me laugh too, actually. <laughs> so, I know there's noises in the background. I'm recording it at a different spot. So, our squeaky door is really squeaky and more squeaky, noticeable when it's opening while we're recording the podcast. <laughs> I know. Holy moly. All right. Hey, so if you want to complain about it, you can give us a call. <laughs> Did I mention that, that this is thanks for watching? You didn't. <laughs> Oh my gosh, we're totally okay, guys. going crazy. This is, this is the podcast, Thanks for Watching. That's right. In case you didn't know when you pressed the, the little show icon or whatever. That's right. And and introduced in the show, uh, there was a, an Adrian who will be on the show, I think, next week. I'm not Ooh. sure. Yeah, he's, he's coming to the show again. Uh, he's been a busy guy. And then uh, Jimmy, not on the show today, because he's been stuck in meetings and all that stuff, and... We're a day behind, so we're just going to get this show on the road because we can do that. Because the time time. has come. That's right. Time for the show. Thanks for watching. All right. So give us a call uh, or send us a text message at 512-PODCAST. You wanted numbers only, 512-763-2278. Good job. Thank you. But we also have... But wait, there's more. Oh. Our website, www.tfwmovies.com, and we post some stuff on there. It's kind of fun. Uh, yes, yeah, it's, it's uh, amusing. It is amusing. Uh, like the movie we reviewed last week, the, uh, what's it called? Oh. The Jules one? Yeah, yeah, the Jules one. That That movie's on there, so if you wanted to look at it, go up there and check it out. And if we were super professional, we would know the name of the movie, but I actually didn't watch it. Above Jewels. That's That's the one. Above Jewels. There you go. Anyhow, and of course I liked it, just so you know. Yeah, I mean. Yeah, that's the way it goes. Uh, That is the way it goes. Yeah. Send us an email, which is also a a link you could click on our website. It's Mm -hmm. S-H-O-U-T-O-U-T at T-F-W-M-O-V-I-E-S dot com. That's shout out <laughs> at tfwmovies.com. Yay! See, and I could spell that correctly. <laughs> That's right. All right. Uh, we have Let's Facebook. We have Twitter. We have Instagram. Yes, and all Instagrams. of which is TFW Movies. Or you have to do the at symbol first if you want to. Right. Yeah. If helps. you want to contact us, contact us directly through the Instagrams or the Twitter, any yeah. of that. Absolutely. You can you can do that as well. And, and you we'll, can even uh, you can even we'll hashtag us. Be surprised and smile yeah. and all the fun things in life. Because on Instagram you can follow hashtags. That's pretty mm-hmm. cool. Ha- that is pretty cool. Yeah, hashtag TFW movies. Yeah. Yeah. Word. That's the money. That's where it's at right there. Yeah, the party is at. Oh. Hashtag TFW movies. That's right. I I cannot confirm or deny whether there's actually a party there. But you know what? You never know. That's true. <laughs> Give it a try. There, there's a party there, trust me. It's there. You'll see it when you when you hashtag it yourself. <laughs> yeah, do it. So let's do the rundown. Here we go. Okay. We got to talk about traffic. We're going to oh. talk about I feel pretty. You do feel pretty. I yeah. can tell. Yeah, in we're our, our pre-conversation that you feel yeah, pretty today. I totally do, totally. We're going to talk about. Oh well, no, Super Troopers is being going to going to be talked about next week. We're not going to talk yes. about it this week. 
Um, but uh, there is some stuff to talk about with it because Penny and I watched the original one. And kind of. We had to watch the original one, so we could watch the second one. You kind of watched the original one. You admitted to me that you were not fully focused on the movie. That's true. That's true. I I was laying in bed, perhaps. But that's okay, because I've seen it enough times for both of us. That's good. And there were some really funny parts in it. And, yes. And, you know, I, they were just really interesting antics. Probably interesting antics like say that new movie coming out with uh where it's just a whole bunch of what uh, point something point action point action point that's it which like that. i believe is based on an actual um it was a actual theme park that was like a total train wreck oh and people like really hurt themselves but everybody loved to go there until it was shut down it was like in the 70s I read a story about it a long time ago. If it's true, then I really do want to go see that film. I wasn't sure, but... I think it might be based on a true story, the way, um, like, The Greatest Showman was inspired, inspired by, by... P.T. Barnum, and The Winchester was inspired by right. Sir Winchester right. and The Winchester Mystery House. But um, I do remember reading something about that, like, four years ago. Oh, wow. In a uh, a train wreck, train wreck clip, clickbait uh, tornado that I got stuck in. So. Oh, okay then. Yeah, I'll I'll go find that and figure it out for next week. Yeah, so we'll talk about that next week. So you'll see that we do have a challenge. So I'll challenge uh, Beth. Oh. Uh, what we're going to talk about, it, and it's it, unfortunately I just got under this kick of finding films with different titles in different countries. <clears throat> yeah. So that's what it's going to be until I figure out a different challenge. Until you can come up with something else. Right. Or until somebody challenges me to see a movie that I'm going to dislike. Uh, good luck there, everybody. I know. Yeah, good luck with that. We have we have a bunch of films opening next week. Lots of films. In fact, Penny and I already have tickets to one of the films, which yeah. means we're not using MoviePass. We paid for Which price is amazing. Yeah. Right? And didn't you pay extra because you're doing, like, some fan experience or some beeswax? Yeah, yeah. We paid a little extra. So we got a neat little bucket uh, and some popcorn. And For what movie, DJ? What movie? Well, it's going to have to be an Avengers movie. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> we were sitting here talking about it. Oh, I already paid my ticket and everything. But you didn't say what it was, so. Well, I wasn't going to say it until I got <laughs> to next week's openings. <laughs> oh, I see. Well... And then future films, which, by the way, every film we're going to talk about, I have a date, just so oh, you know. Good. Yeah. I've been razzed about it so many times, I put a oh, date. And that's yeah. only because I saw the dates. <laughs> I was like, oh, I better write that down. <laughs> Taking my, my Googling job away from me. <laughs> I am. Sorry. <laughs> that's all right. I'm, but here, my there hands I am. are currently busy. <laughs> I'm in the movie theater going, oh, what was the date of that? I'm, I'm like... You know, elbowing Penny in the in the shoulder. Hey, what was remember what on? day that is. And then I bring out my phone and I put it in there. Put it I, in your calendar. <laughs> I feel so stealthy because I have my phone on in the middle of the movie theater. I and guarantee I know it's just you, trailers. the people behind you do not think it's stealthy. No, I'm sure they don't. And I have it on the <laughs> lowest, lowest bright setting, so it's right. like it's like almost dark. I could barely tell. I can. It's like. Oh, there's my hand. Oh, there's my phone. And there is a screen there. So it's super dark. Silly. But, and I get through it, honestly. So, but it's a trailer. And so I like, suck it up. It's a trailer. And right. And I'm, I'm writing during the part where it says, this was a, approved for all audiences or. With uh, all the, the weird things that they say. Yeah. Exactly. For tobacco use, teen drinking, and right. a beating. What? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Science exactly. fiction themes, <laughs> lots of hair, and, uh, you know, poi drinking. You're like, what? <laughs> what does that even mean? And then you see the trailer and you go, oh, got it, poi. It okay. would be fun to talk about the rubric of, of the MP... AA. <laughs> ratings. I, I was going for AA, but then... Motion. Motion Picture, Motion Picture Association, Association of America. America. Yeah. So, Got it. Anyhow. Well, uh, I challenge you to look that up. Okay. 
Oh, <laughs> oh, I've been challenged, everybody. Whoa. Well, no one else was doing it, so. Well, when I when I'm re-editing this, I'll remember what that challenge was and I'll write it down. <laughs> Unless you, you text it to me later. <laughs> I'll probably text it to you. Yeah, you you could even text it to me at five one two podcast if you want to, because I check that regularly. Every day. Every day I do. I bring it up. Google Voice. Oh, I don't have anything. Oh, sad yeah. faces. Sad. Let's swipe over to my old phone number. Oh, there. Look, somebody called me from my old phone number. Was it me? Yes. Um, someone else did, too. Um, yeah. Somebody else. Because my birthday was last week, so I was like. Happy birthday. Thank you. Aw. <clears throat> Anyhow. I so, went to Disneyland, and I was jealous. Aw. It was so much fun. Disneyland. Without me. I was a little disappointed about one thing, though. Um, it was uh, Pixar Fest. So Pixar oh. Fest is going on right now. But why would they start Pixar Fest when we don't have Pixar Pier yet? Uh, that does seem a little tricky. Yeah. I'm a little, you know, worried about it. You don't need to be worried about it's it. Not it's not ready just, yet. They just didn't think of that particular well how long does pixar fest go i don't know i don't know quite a while then it'll be open by the time it's done so it'll be fine yeah it should be fine they're just trying to keep keep the people coming in because goodness knows nobody goes to disneyland anymore that's true that's true that is a lie people it is people are always at disneyland it is just as busy if not more busy than it it ever has been crazy busy this weekend Uh crazy busy but hey enough about disneyland that's right let's talk about disney movies okay well we don't have any disney movies to talk about at the moment but that was a ham-fisted segue (laughs) that's right (laughs) it's time for dun 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 movies yeah yeah, that's it. Movies. Let's talk about traffic, shall we? Uh, okay. That's because that was an intense film. Intense. I bet it was. I saw the trailer and went, ooh. And I recognized nearly every scene it was shot at, um, being that it was filmed in our own hometown, oh. our romping areas. Oh, um, it's right in the trailer. It looked like Fresh Pond, the gas station at it Fresh is. Pond. It is. It is the <laughs> gas station at Fresh Pond. It really that's is. That's hilarious. That one. Um, yeah, in fact, you'll notice in in the trailer, or no, in, in the picture I posted, I tagged the yeah. El Dorado County Film Commission That's on it funny. because I knew it was from there. But they, they shot some places in El Dorado Hills, Cameron Park. Oh, nice. Uh, well, maybe not Cameron Park. No. But we're pretty close, you know. And then it's a special place to live and probably shoot a film. That's true. And then they shot in Sacramento as well. There were a few flybys over the Capitol and stuff. Huh. Um, and some places that, to look like the Sacramento Bee, and <laughs> so yeah, and so it was it was good, and they really painted El Dorado County to look like a, a really nasty place. Um, good paint job, guys. Yes, because uh, the film is all about uh, um, discovering running into a group of bikers and such that are involved with human trafficking. And well, I, actually, in truth, Sacramento is really high up on the list. It really is. I didn't even realize in 2014, El Dorado County has their own task force for human trafficking. Yeah, because all of the um, a bunch of different big state interstate freeways go in and out of like you can go everywhere from Sacramento. Yeah, like, really easily. Yeah, it's it's insane. Uh, so this was just one part of it. In fact, there was, um, well, if you haven't, if you haven't seen the thing, the, the movie, I don't want to spoil it for you, but uh, let me tell you, there's some bad stuff that goes on. And honestly, I wouldn't put it past. I mean, I know what my aunt has gone through with some of the stuff going on out there and just the crookedness of just hire people in position that could do helpful. Yeah. It's crooked. They don't help anything. They're right. They're, they're they're in a position where they should be helping, and they're they're making it worse. Yeah, it sounds familiar. Yeah. So, but anyhow, no, that being said, I've already said right. too much. the The thing is, is though, it, it, it at the end they 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 destroy this ring, and it's not it's not even a ring. It's a cell. It's not even 
So you you kill this one spot, and there's others in its place. Well, yeah. Yeah. So that's terrible. It is. But it at is. least they maybe broke this particular part. Yeah. I don't know. I didn't see it. <laughs> and they they told the story really well. I thought they told the story really well. And there was some be- beautiful scenery. Um, well, yeah. It's and really I really wanted... A place. Yeah. And, and I really wanted them to pan over just a little bit long, further so I can get my bearings and know exactly where they were. Cause, right. You know, You're you like, know. oh, I can see my house from here. Right. And like, I bet my mom's house is right around the corner. Yep. Oh, look, <laughs> Beth is waving. Yeah, I saw Beth. She drove by in that, that car of hers. Oh, I don't have my Mustang anymore. Oh, no. Somebody <laughs> else so has sad. it. It's true. Someone else waving at you. <laughs> oh, man. What was that? What was that? So that was terrible. Right? Um, uh, one of the things that I thought was really strange about this film mm-hmm. is uh, there was a scene that took place in the Eldorado County Sheriff's Office. Mm-hmm. And it was the sheriff, of all people... Talking to the mayor, and she wasn't in an office. She was in the hallway, on a, in a chair in the hallway, talking to the mayor. Well, she, um... And and it was just like like that was her desk. And I'm like, that, that doesn't. You didn't have the money to pay for an extra 400 square feet, and well, I guess not. Get an I mean... office or what? Well... And hmm. I guess I guess if you don't have a budget, you go to Alberta County to shoot. That's true, and maybe um, that's that's probably really true. Um, maybe they maybe she was just visiting. Maybe. maybe that wasn't her office. That's true. That really could be. That really could be. So, so she and, just dropped by the sheriff's office to talk to them. Yeah, maybe, but uh, I don't know. And when the when she pulled up in one of the first scenes, uh, I couldn't tell what office she was from because mm. i couldn't i try to read the side of the the police car but it, but was it went too star. fast <laughs> yeah and so i couldn't read it and it didn't look like anything that i've seen in el dorado county anyway so well but i'm really glad that they they got some film up in there so uh you know kudos to the film commission in el dorado good county. job guys good job yeah uh yeah most of it was filmed in in that town so which is really neat I was, i'm grateful for that Woo. Yay, hometown baby. Um, our audience reaction there, there, there were some people had a few things to say. I mean, it was there, there was some groaning and stuff just because of the the nature of the film, ah. and um, and the action part was kind of neat, you know, in, in the big house with the big in in looking infinity looking pool. You know, and the if door you saw was the trailer. Really cool. Yeah, it was it was you know, a nice looking house. I was like, Ooh wow, there's some fancy person lives there. <laughs> so uh but so fancy. Yeah. But uh, it was definitely neat to see all that. Um oh again with the audience, yeah, they they were kinda talky, kinda not. Uh, mm-hmm. and there was very few people in the audience. It was like nobody heard of the film or really wanted to see this film, so huh. You know, I could probably say there were about seven or eight people in the audience. It was really cool. What time did you go to see it? Excuse me. Um, what time did I go and see it? I don't recall. Was it a nighttime show? I'm not saying like I'm not saying like specifically. Oh, it was nine forty-five. It was in Uh, the afternoon. On a on a Sunday, Sunday afternoon. Well, lots of people are at church still. That's true. That's true. Everybody in the house here was, except for Penny and I. See, there you go. Yeah. So, I feel pretty. You are pretty, DJ. Thank you. And you know, they You're never the sang the song. You're the prettiest girl at the Harvest June Ball. Aww. Harvest that's June. so cool. Harvest but June, June. Moon. Well, that's the way that goes. Well, if D- DJ's the prettiest girl there. So. <laughs> Whatever the ball is, DJ is the prettiest is. one. There we go. I love it. Never, never. I've 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 been in that spot before. No, does not look pretty. Um, so, <laughs> but on the inside, I totally feel that way. There You're we go. Beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. Beautiful. And that's what I feel pretty was all about. Was, was feeling beautiful, beautiful on the inside. 
Well, that's good. Yeah, it was a, it was a the, great. The trailers film. kind of um, made it look a little bit like a a gender bendy, confusy, shallow howl. Right. Well, it, it sh- one of the my favorite lines was that the company has a uh, mental health plan that she yeah. could use. It was so true because this lady seems completely nuts, actually. Huh. Yeah. So, but it was good. I mean, she she hurt her hit her head and eventually thought she was beautiful. But before she thought she was beautiful, she thought she was the ugliest person in the world and. Nobody wanted to like her, and even her friends. She, she thought her friends didn't really like her as well as as they actually did. And so, Aww. some life lessons that were right there, you know, have the confidence yeah. to, and believe in yourself because you can have that confidence. Yeah, just be you, man. You do yeah. you. You don't have to be anybody else. Right. Just be you. Right. So, pretty some pretty funny scenes in that film. That's for sure. Good. So. I recommend it. Go see it. It's it's funny, and I don't think it's uh, extremely like sexual in nature. Racy. It's. I don't think it is. It's. Okay. It was. There are a few scenes. There's the scene where she starts doing a a dance of a fan, and it was in the trailer. You saw parts of it in the trailer already. Mm. So, but she's doing a a t-shirt contest or something. Like right. That. So. Which is is good, but she wins over the crowd, you know, and that's because of the way she thought of herself. Yeah, just confidence will do a lot for you. And there was a lot of laughter when the the her old self came back when she bashed her head open again, <laughs> and, oh. and it all came rushing head. back. It's a lot of head injuries. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, yeah, she definitely needs some help there. So, but it was. Overall, a great film. I thought it was good. And I, I think it is still rated R. I can't remember. Um, I feel like it probably is. I th- it might be. But I don't think it's as bad as it... I mean, there wasn't like... I don't think it was like shock type it of wasn't behavior. Super, well, shock doesn't necessarily... Shock isn't the thing that brings about the R rating. How is the language? The, yeah, the language didn't seem that bad. Well, if they drop the F-bomb more than once, it's rated R. Really? And they yeah. I don't know how many times the F-bomb was dropped. So, yeah. We'll have to look at that. We will have to look but at that. But that you can uh, tell us about when you figure out your rating for right. the, uh, your, the rating system <laughs> exactly. of the MPA. That's right. We can do that. When I figure exactly. that out, we'll, we'll find out exactly. Hooray! Yay! But it, overall, go see this film. I really enjoyed it. it it's, it's an uplifting kind of a film. Nice. You know, it, it has its it has its moral compass, which is you know, have confidence in yourself because it doesn't matter what you look like, you're awesome. Yeah. You know, so that's that was good. It was, it was some funny stuff. I like the I like the get what's your number bit and. And just how clueless she kind of was about that. And, mm. you know, she's she's having these I'm pretty moments and doesn't know how to deal with them properly ah. type of a thing. So it's good. Good film. I liked it. I really liked it. The audience liked it, too. It was pretty good. You know, there was some laughter. And That's we saw that nice. one um, when we took a minute off of Disneyland. Ah. Yeah. So we went um. off and saw a movie. Next and to, it was this one. Next to the the Lego store? Yeah, yeah. Nice. Right there. The AMC right there. So and none of, fun. none of that was filmed in Alberta County. Also, none of that is a sponsor. Lego store, AMC. Right. Disneyland. None of them. Not They're a not a sponsor. <laughs> Hashtag not a sponsor. But we right. love them anyway. <laughs> exactly. We do love them anyway. Um so if that's they it. wanted to sponsor, I'd be okay with that. True. True that. <laughs> so that's it on that. Um, Super Troopers would have been next, and we'll discuss Super Troopers next week. <clears throat> next week, yeah. Um, but now let's move on to the challenge. Last week's challenge. Do you remember what it was? Uh, wild speed some sky such. mission. There we yes. go. Yeah, 2015. Did you figure out what it was? Oh, I looked it up. DJ, you oh, can't that's keep, right. 
You can't keep me from the Googling. That's true. And I know you're going to Google the next one. Um, uh, Furious 7. Right. So you all know out in the yeah. podcast <laughs> land, it was Furious 7. So the next Wild one. Speed Sky yeah. Mission. The, the next one is Vietnamese. Oh. The title. Yeah. And I could not. I have it written down, but I couldn't in for the life of me at all ever. Pronounce it. Pronounce it, which I'm not even going to try. Probably but, better. But it it uh, translates it translates to Master of Dreams. Oh. And I don't know I if I should give you the movie. year about it. I don't. I, don't I would know. appreciate it if you gave us the year, or okay. would that give it away too much? I don't know. I don't know if it would or wouldn't. So I don't know if we can trust you about what is and isn't giving away too I'm much because you to straight be told us. That you'd already given away too much on Napoleon Dynamite, and I've seen Napoleon Dynamite a billion times. I know, that's and I was true. just like, Durr. right? Okay, <laughs> how about how about this? Twenty seventeen. Okay. So Master lots of, of films Dreams? came out. Master of Dreams. And okay, now I'm googling. I'm yeah, I know, pause. and it's Vietnamese, so you could even just Google that too. So, okay. um, <clears throat> so moving. Oh well. I was going to say you're going to Google it now, so I was going to ask you if you could guess what it is before you Googled it, but mm-hmm. it's probably too late by now. So, um, 512 it's... Podcast, tags us if you think you know the answer, it, a raw answer. I don't mean something you've Googled already. Yeah. So I'm just curious, and I'll let you know. We'll send you a text and say if it's right or not, and if you're wrong, that's okay, and and if you're right, I'll let you know. And if you want, I will even tell you the answer Ooh. before next week. Ooh. Can you believe that? Interactive podcasting. Go figure. It'll be so much fun. It will be, actually. You'll like it. And then we'll have other challenges. Don't worry, this isn't the only one, but I just thought this would be fun. And I did this, this took a little, I mean, all of 15 minutes for me to find. It was crazy. <laughs> So, um, hey, Beth, do you have yes, any sir. Netflix, pri- Amazon Prime, Hulu films that you've seen? Uh, let's see. What have I been watching? Very little. Um, I told you about Nailed It. I told you about The Office of Parks and Rec. Oh, yes. Um, I haven't... I've been really busy this week. I'm sorry. I'm a horrible person. However, I have been... I did get totally caught... Um, in reading a bunch of Star Wars uh, fan theories. <laughs> oh, that might have taken some time. <laughs> oh my god, that's why I don't have time for anything else because I was just all, what? <laughs> what? Um, <laughs> for those of you guys who don't know, Star Wars is a part of Beth like her organs. Beth is very into Star Wars. <laughs> <laughs> um, but I don't know if you guys noticed that uh, my little my little drawing for the podcast. I have Leia buns, and oh, that's yes. because of Star Wars. That wasn't an accident. It was not uh, an accident. <laughs> <laughs> so I've been I've been caught up in a lot of that. I hear tell that the script for Episode Nine has is finished writing. They've oh, finished writing it. So wow. that means any month now they'll start like they're probably in pre production. Oh. Which is bananas. So That is bananas. I mean, it, it doesn't come out until Christmas twenty nineteen. So yes, Jim, when you come back and listen to this, you can get all like poopy doopy about future releases. This one is in twenty nineteen, <laughs> not in our actual calendar year. But the thing is I don't care. It's Star Wars. It is Star Wars. And we'll talk about Star Wars five or 20 more times before we even get to the 2019 show. Exactly. Yeah. Anytime it comes up in my brain, I talk about it. So. Yeah, I get it. Uh, and and just so we're clear, mm-hmm. Beth brought up the 2019 one, not Yes, DJ. absolutely. I take yeah. full credit for that. <laughs> and uh, I'll do it again. Oh, so, yeah. 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 You do it again. You go, girl. I, I'm gonna. Woo-hoo. Because I feel pretty, and I, <laughs> I know that I'm cool, no matter what I look like on the outside. Oh yeah, that's the story. That's the story. Hashtag this is me. This is you. <laughs> <You're great. laughs> 
uh, we started watching the next season of Jessica Jones. Oh, that's so next on my list. Is it? Okay. Yes. Well, hopefully we'll be done watching it by the time you're done binge watching it, if you get a chance to do that ever. Yeah, I'll probably do that <laughs> tonight before I go to bed. Oh, great. <laughs> In my insomnia hours, I'll probably yes. do that. Um, but we went. We watched another film, uh, rated MA TV, um, called Game Over Man. <laughs> Did you see it? No, but I've seen. You know how it pops up on the yes. Netflix. Yes. Yeah, it pops up on the Netflix, and and also it just makes me think of Bill Paxton in the Alien movies. Game over, man. Game <laughs> over. Rest in peace, Bill Paxton. Yes. Yes. Um, so it was. It was a fun little film. Um, just zany comedy. All it was is all it was. There wasn't any bit of female nudity that I saw or noticed. So there, there was. Uh, it was just goofy. It was pretty goofy. There was okay. some nudity. Um, yeah. a lot of s- suggestive, like gay nudity, gay humor. Oh, okay. Um, but I'm not sure. Like it, it was like teetering on the offensive, like. Are you guys poking fun at gay people, or are you actually giving giving a, a story? Um, and it, I don't know. It was just I was I wasn't sure. Like, should I laugh at this? Is this funny, or right. is this being rude? <clears throat> so, okay. but I don't. I mean, I'd imagine it was kind of being funny. Anyway. So bad. Today it was awful. Anyway, continue. Continuing. Anyway, so uh, that's the thing. I wasn't sure where this movie... I mean, there were some funny parts. Uh, right. And it was just... And then there was the guy from Home Alone in it. Um, oh, the, the guy. The Daniel guy. Stern or yes. Joe Pesci or... Not Joe Pesci. Daniel Stern. Okay. The bad guy. Mm-hmm. Um, and Marv. Yes. And he was funny in it, but there was some... Some really crude stuff that went on in there. So, if you okay. if you don't like crude so, humor uh, and all that stuff, don't watch it. If you don't are, watch if you it. don't like crude humor, or you're right. under uh, if you're a kid, right? If you're a kid, okay. for sure. But the, there were some really genuine funny things, antics that happened that were like, ha, ah, that was pretty funny. Shenanigans. There, like there was some shenanigans where they're dangling out of the of a window. And um, something happens where they start flying into another window. Oh, dear. Thereby running into a bad guy and Ooh. killing them by accident. It was almost oh. like... A happy accident, like Bob Ross. Yes, or, or the naked gun, how, you know, Leslie Nielsen would uh, oh, accidentally... Nielsen. Rest in peace, Leslie Nielsen. Yes, yes. But how, how those characters would accidentally discover or save or do something right. heroic, but it was all accidental. Right. Well, that makes sense. That's what happened to these characters, except for there was a lot of crude stuff that went along with it. Eh, well. Did I mention when crude? You're making... Yeah, you did. <laughs> okay. But... Oh, wait, you mean crude? I yeah. thought you meant, uh, did you mention that it was right. it was crude in some places? Yeah. But hey, Got I mean, they, they took away the stereotypes of the, you know, like back in the day when there was there was police academy and they had their crude humor but it was all yep. like it was all like women and yeah it was all boobs boobs and stuff so no boobs in this one but wow. a lot of male nudity well maybe they were uh taking it back i think so i think maybe that's they were um they were going for equality on that one i i agree and so if you're interested in equality like that go for it because that's you want to see like balls and wieners is that what we're talking about here yeah yeah and wow uh, a, a little, a little Lorena Bobbitt action going on too. Oh. So that's just wow. That's a callback from the nineties. <laughs> it is, and if you don't know it, just Google it, guys. Gals. Or don't. You're better the, off, right? Yeah. Like nope. that is <laughs> TV movie coming soon. I'm sure. I'm sure because we're we're revisiting all that stuff. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that'll be the next American Crime Story. Last right. year they did OJ. This year they did uh, Versace. Then it'll be Lorena Bobbitt. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> uh-huh. Terrifying. Oh, oh my goodness. <laughs> anyway, so that's that's what we watched. I was entertained. It was funny. I, I, you know, there's slapstick, and that's that gets me. 
that's one it, of my it, downfalls or downfalls. It really does. So uh, it's both. If you actually fall down in front of DJ, he will laugh at you. And then well, he'll be like, Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry, are you all right? But the first automatic thing is just like, ha <laughs> slipped on a banana peel. Well, yeah, oh, I mean, if it's a banana okay? peel, then it's totally funny. Like, I laughed at myself immediately when I ripped my my shoulder out of socket. Because you did it in a funny way. I did do it in a funny way. I was like, ha, what, what the heck? I missed that step? What? Okay, <laughs> okay. For those of you who don't know DJ, if you recall the film... Who framed Roger Rabbit? Oh my gosh. DJ is, in fact, Roger Rabbit. Yes. Like, he could escape these cuffs at any time, but only if it's funny. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I totally quoted that the other day in my in the, in the, the gym class at, at where I work. It's so funny. <laughs> also, if you haven't seen Who Framed Roger Rabbit, Get out. you should view it. I believe it's on Netflix currently. Oh, is and it? Let me, please hold while I try that connection. I'm pretty sure it is. Um, please hold while I try that connection. On my phone. By the way, the mm-hmm. the eye the 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 quote uh, movie whatever's on uh, goes into your Ooh. eyes. At, okay. On, yeah. Oh yeah. Yep. Are, no. So go ahead and and say, is it on the Netflix? Uh, who framed? Um. I was, I'm sorry, I was trying to help you, and we oh. both managed to totally... <laughs> Derail up. ourselves. We both totally messed up for poor Penny, who's going to have to caption, <laughs> she caption that. And she's going to be like, again? <laughs> Second week in a row. This I, is unacceptable, guys. I have, I was in the driver's seat while she was captioning it in the car. <laughs> <laughs> and all of a sudden, I hear that four-second little spiel, and I, I kind of look <laughs> over. Last week, when DJ was like, oh, dude, with and fish, what I um." <laughs> okay, I gotta. <laughs> well, no, it's not currently on Netflix. Okay, good. But I but... look, I look over at her, and I go, "Oh, I'm sorry." <laughs> yeah. And so she, I'm sorry, I got told on take over Ben. <laughs> we can't stop laughing, guys. I'm like he's dying. Make sure you breathe. <laughs> breathe in. Okay, breathe. Oh, breathe okay. out. I'm done. So because Penny texted me and she's like, What was going on here? I'm like, I can't I can't tell you. And it's DJ was trying to use words and they were really failing was. him. And then, and and then after she finally, ta- you know, I, I turned to her and say sorry. And then she texts you, "What, what the heck is this?" Yeah. And and then, just four seconds later, on the podcast, we're apologizing to her. Yeah. For what happened? Because I was sitting here listening to you, and my mouth was literally hanging open like a cartoon character. Because I'm like, "What is he doing?" I and now I've know. and now I've totally just gone and done the same thing, and I apologize, Penny. Oh boy! Uh, so and and moving on from that story, uh, I was I texted you something about a quote that I was like, somebody just quoted you, Beth. Well, right. it was me. <laughs> it was you me did from it? the show, yes. Because <laughs> Penny was captioning, and I'm like, wait a minute, <laughs> wait, replay that because it sounded like something you would say, and I thought that was what you said. So. Oh, Whoops. it wasn't? Nope, it was me. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm not that witty. Come on. I thought it was you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh. I guess I can be kind of witty. Mm. Well, That's let's move funny. on to next week's show. Yes, yeah, shall we? Shall we? Yeah. Uh, incidentally, I've checked Xfinity On Demand, um, Netflix, and Amazon Prime, and it's not free anywhere. Oh. So, go... Look on Apple or yeah. what have you if you're interested in watching Who Framed Roger Rabbit. That's right. my bad. Last time I checked, it was on Netflix. Yeah. So, because I watched it there like three months ago. I, you know what? It I have it in one of my. I have these movie briefcases, and right. I have it in there. However, that doesn't help our listeners. That Not helps today. DJ and Penny. <laughs> it sure does. I'm like, let's watch this again, shall we? <laughs> Eddie Valiant. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> so next week's show. 
next week's uh, next week's releases, which we already have tickets for. We're going to go see on Thursday, Avengers. Because woo, yeah. all of all of these comic book movies for years have been leading up to this. Yeah, that's why everyone who isn't currently dead is in it. That's right, exactly. Uh, so, and we don't need to talk about that one anymore because that one's just everybody knows about it. If you don't yes. know about it. We need You're to remove under a you from rock. rock. Yeah. yeah. And how is it that you have internet right now? That's what I want to know. That's a good question. Yeah. Let us know at shoutout. <laughs> <laughs> TFWmovies.com. Okay. There's another one. Um, and, I, and this one looks kind of funny. So our theater plays films from other countries quite often. Right. Foreign films, you would say. Anybody would say that. So this one is called Da Master of Dreams. No, <laughs> not Master of Dreams. Uh, da one that got oh, or no, it's a pun. Sorry, the one that ghost away. Oh my goodness! And it's a it's from the Philippines. It's a film from the hmm. Philippines and looks hilarious. Okay. And it's about these people going into a haunted house and all the hmm. crazy things that go on in there. Oddly enough, I really want to see this one. Even though he hates ghosts. Even though I hate ghosts, this one just sounds really funny. He's I, totally prejudiced against people without skin. That's true. That's true. No skin, <laughs> no service. Uh, you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. Yes. You find it another way. Thank you very much. Oh, dear. Yes. But that one looks fun. It looks, I mean, as the title alone makes me want to go see it. It does make you laugh. Yeah. <laughs> Um, another independent film that's coming out, Adventures in Public School. So oh, about a we've kid. Had those. Yes, uh, it's a kid that was homeschooled his whole life and meets this girl who's in public Hey-o. school, and he's like, "I want to go to school with her." So now he decides to go to public school, and his mom first freaks out, like, "What? No!" And then. <laughs> no. And then it's all about the girl and then and having this rebellious stage, which he's never had. And then so his mom's in on it. Like, okay, how do we rebel? And we write stuff on the board and we're late to class. And we're just, so it's just, okay. I don't know. It looked kind of funny. I thought it was really funny. Okay. Um, <clears throat> another one I want to see that looks pretty funny. It's a, a John Malkovich film. Ma- Sorry, Penny. John Malkovich there you go. Film Supercon, where Ooh. it's much like the film just that just recently came out, where they were they had to rob the Grand Prix or the oh Logan Lucky. Lo, yes, Logan Lucky, which I have. It's a great film. So I am going to watch it because it's uh, it's got the Adam Driver in it. Oh yeah, that's right. Um, he did great in that film, by the way. He's a fabulous know. actor. He's so yeah. good. Yeah. So, um, but, um, where was I? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, this one, Supercon, is, Mm -hmm. it's like Comic-Con, and they're going to go rob the Supercon, because some of the actors... Money coming out the ears. Yeah, people are paying actors $75 a signature, and so they all got all this cash. So, they're going to rob the cash. Yeah. That makes sense. That's actually a, a valid heist. Yeah thought exactly. way more valid than the one from hurricane heist <laughs> yeah a little bit more valid than that just a little i mean but i mean they're t- they're talking about hurricane heist they're they're trying to steal money that's supposed to be shredded right that doesn't exist anymore technically so which is kind of like i don't even know what that means it's like it's not marked and well it's still I mean, it, it's it gotta still be has all of the all of the moneyness that it normally has. Yeah, it's not supposed to be in circulation, and right. is as is uh, written down is marked down as out of use. So I guess, yeah, I guess you don't have to pay taxes on that. Guess not. <laughs> if it's not real money, you don't have to pay taxes. Yep. But anyway, back anyway, to uh, back Supercon. To <clears throat> Supercon. And, and that's <laughs> I it. Digress. That's and that's that's it on Supercon actually. Oh, it looks okay. funny. I really want to see it. Um I I kinda think John Malkovich has a has a great like sense of humor and has Bald some head. funny stuff. Not in this film. 
Oh, he's got hair? Yeah. Tricky. I know. Really tricky. I'm really working on that disguise. Um, Is he cosplaying? Probably. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know exactly. I, I watched the trailer, um, but, you know, it was, it was a while ago. And I slept yeah. since then. At least so, twice. <laughs> can't remember any of that. Right. But I do want to see all it. all stuff we don't need. Right. Okay. Um, then what there's we Wednesday. This Wednesday, which is mm-hmm. why we got to get this out on Tuesday. <laughs> okay. It's a double feature. Uh-oh. Yep. It's going to be the Karate Kid <gasps> for the first one. And then Cobra Kai. Oh. The YouTube Red version. Sweep yep. the leg. Yeah, so that will be airing on Wednesday at a theater near you. I think it's uh, that, what is that extra thing? It's not like, it's not, fan, what is it? Uh, it's the um, Phantom? Phantom oh. Events, yes. yes. It's a Phantom Event, so Ooh, go check it out. they're going to do the Dark Crystal, too. Yeah, I've seen the Dark Crystal. I mean, it was it was here for a little bit, so I'm gonna, I think it's going to be somewhere else again. Yeah, I think it's coming to my theater soon. Oh my gosh, I can't clear my throat enough today. Um, okay, and oh, then last week we were we talked about bringing you Duck Duck Goose, and oh, yeah. I thought that was going to be cute, but it never came out. I mean, it oh. says it was released on the twentieth, but it never nowhere it within, available at your at your anywhere within fifty miles of where I live. Wow. <laughs> so, and also anywhere within fifty miles of Disneyland. Because right. I checked. <laughs> and yeah. that's two different 50-mile radiuses, guys. Right, exactly. So, totally, so within, I don't even know, 200 miles or so, we couldn't yeah. find that film. Okay. Well, that's a bummer. I know. So, it's probably going straight to video, <clears throat> most likely. Or maybe, maybe it was just a, a super, super limited release. Yeah, that was super limited. I'll yeah. tell you. It's like... I mean, uh, at the com- film festivals, <laughs> films, films from from the Philippines get better reviews here. Wow, wow! <laughs> and Sorry, I trust me, Goose. right, right. And, DJ was looking for you. And these films from from the Philippines are actually really funny. Well, yeah. Like, like here we go. Um, coming at May 9th is another film from the film Philippines called My Two Mommies. Oh, so looks pretty funny. Um, a guy has a child, but his partner um, doesn't. I don't know how it works. Anyway, or the, the his mom is like, "But you're gay," and it just it's hilarious. And then all the stuff that that comes with having a just finding out you have a daughter. Oh no, a son. Sorry, just find out you have a son. And they're going to live with you, and... So, uh, 50% of everything that DJ says is right. You just have to, like, <laughs> oh, pick geez. which one. <laughs> you know what? And there, that's the thing. I have a 50-50 chance of getting it right the first time. <laughs> right. Jeez. So, you just, every once in a while, you go through and you <sighs> go, oh, that one was an incorrect statement, because yeah. DJ was distracted by a butterfly. <laughs> well... Penny's is playing a game right next to me to the left. And like, so I'm, looking I. Between, I'm looking between my notes and this game where Penny gets beat up by a flying turtle shell. <laughs> uh, incidentally, everybody, I am playing Mario Kart with Penny. Yes. <laughs> That's what's going on. Oh, so DJ geez. is like the, the meat in the Mario Kart sandwich here. <laughs> I am. That's it. Um, so we might go see that one because I really like those films because okay. they, they have uh, ta- Talag, Talag, oh, I can't say that. Tagalog. Tagalog, yeah. So um, they they speak that language, but they're, it's mixed with English and, and mm-hmm. it's it's really cool. I like how they do it. Um, and suffice it to say, they're funny and they're not yeah. inappropriate, I think. That, that's the other thing. Far less boobs. Far less anything that's Balls inappropriate yeah so uh, um should i be putting <laughs> explicit on this whole... i don't know is that really explicit i don't I maybe mean, not maybe i don't not. think so i don't think so okay it's not like the potter podcast or we would anything. call this pg-13 is really all we'd call it right pg yeah i'd say so maybe yeah i haven't even said any swear words neither have i just to point that out yeah, but as we all know, DJ is far less likely to say a bad word than Beth is. That's true. 
Um, another film called Upgrade coming June first. I hope I that's like not I've too far this. out. Up, we might have talked about it. Upgrade is about. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. Well, maybe we did. So this guy gets a becomes a, a quadriplegic, oh, and mm-hmm. so they they implant a chip into his cerebral Body. cortex or somewhere in the the spinal column over there. Mm-hmm. And it makes it so that he can do all sorts of crazy shenanigans. Yeah, and then there's sometimes when like he's Robo-Cop. not in control at all, and then there's times that he is in control. And, and he, he's got like a Jarvis in his yeah, head. Yeah, and yeah. so that just seems like something that, that would be hilarious. Yeah, it yeah. seems pretty interesting. And it could also be ridiculously violent, so be careful, DJ. Yeah, blindfold. yeah, I'll be careful. Um, another semi-ridiculously violent film, Breaking In... Coming oh. out May 11th. And I don't think I've heard anything about this one. And that's about... Uh, you might breaking have... Breaking in. Yeah, breaking in. Yeah, you, the the mom is... Her father died, and she's taking her two kids, brother and sister, to the house to get things in order to sell the house. Mm-hmm. And... It's like a fortress. There's all these cameras and oh, everything. Oh, so it's like a panic room. Yes. And so, but they're really just hiding the money in the safe is all it is. So we don't know what dad's bad stuff or good stuff was. But what happens is, in the film, the there are these bad guys who come in and want to rob the place. Panic room. Yep. And then... While doing so, mom gets locked outside somehow. The kids are kidnapped on the inside. Home alone in panic room. And she has to break in to get okay. her kids and and get rid of the bad guys. Okay. But So, home alone, die hard, in panic room, I had a love child, and it's called break in. Yep, that's it. Okay, got that's it. it. Um, on a side note, I'm sorry, um... I forgot to. I failed to mention that Game Over Man has a a dog dies. <laughs> yeah, can't watch it. Yeah, you don't need to watch it now. No. Just so you know. I mean, it's fake, but I mean, it's still. I mean, I could probably watch it, but I would still cry. Yeah, it's and it's a Chihuahua. Oh. Yeah. They're so little and cold looking all the time. They are, and this one was probably super cold, so whatever happened really warmed it up. Just so you know. Spoiler alert. Sorry. But hey, no, you want to okay. know. I don't want to. I don't It's wanna... on the list. It is on the list. I think it's on the list. I don't know. Are Netflix original films on the list? Yeah. Oh, okay. The list is. Are you talking about my list? Yeah, you know, the list of uh, the. You know, the and the dog dies or. Oh, that I don't list? know about that. Oh, okay. I don't know about that. Got the, it. the website and it does the dog die? Yeah. I'm not sure. It, Most of the time I have a I have a sixth sense. Not a sixth sense. <laughs> yeah. A sick a sense. A sixth sense. About uh, whether or not the dog's going to make it. And most yeah. of the time I'm right. Yeah, this dog so, didn't make it at all. That's a bummer. Yeah. Poor puppy. Not a one. Yeah. Poor little do- yeah. doggy. <sighs> anyway. So, uh, my, so what my, else do we have? Move, that's it. That's it. Really? I feel like there's something else coming out soon. Um, well, there's a lot coming out soon. I know. We've we've entered the... We've started the season, so... Yeah. So, just be oh, on... Oh, yeah. I was going to make a calendar. <laughs> Where you, oh, that's funny. Big Actually, that's a great idea. You know, use the, the Thanks for Watching calendar. <laughs> Stick yeah, it on I'll, there. I'll see if I can write it up for you. We'll yeah. On the website. That'll be cool. I, actually, I'll try and put that on the website, too. That'll be fun. Cool. Well, only one of us needs to put it on the website. Oh, yeah, yeah. That'll just be you. Ah, okay. Yeah. That's the way it works. That's how it works. That's the way the cookie crumbles. And <laughs> that's... <laughs> thanks for watching. So, thanks for watching. That's right. Uh, we want to give gratitude out to a bunch of people. So, get ready, because we're going to pass it out. We are going to pass it out. A whole bunch of gratitude to you, the audience. Yes. Mostly. Mostly. Above all, Above you. Above all, yeah, because you're wa- you're listening, and I know you are, and I see it. I love that. That's awesome. He has math, and he tells me. He sends me texts that says, people are watching. I'm yes. listening. That's right. 
So thanks for watching, audience. Thanks Woo! for being on the show, Joshua Struthers. Yeah, thanks, Josh. Thank you for the beautiful drawings, Big Checho. Yeah, with my fabulous Leia buns. Mm -hmm. Hey, yo. Keen Louie. Brandon Genovese. Thanks for the voices, Jimmy Harris. Beth Labine. That's Adrian me. Rondo. And thanks for letting us use your husbands, Jackie Harris. And Penny McGee. Penny McGee. <laughs> also, thanks for playing Mario Kart with me, Penny McGee. <laughs> there you go. And cut. <laughs>